at Mary Murphy Academy's Halloween Spectacular. Joining us now with details on the weekend event is none other than the Dancing Queen of San Diego, Mary Murphy. Hey, Mary, how you doing? I'm doing fabulous this morning. How are you doing? Well, after watching that high-speed excitement, now going to you, more high-speed excitement. <laughs> to, tell us about what you have going on. Well, I have a big bash. I, it's annual. I do it every single year. Well, Except for last year, you of know. Course. Um, no goblins around. But we have a great time. It's a catered event. We have plenty of general dancing. And most of all, we have all kinds of professional shows. And I'll be doing a little dance myself. I haven't danced in a few years, but I'm going to let the best ghoul come out of me. <laughs> Very cool. I mean, do, when you're away from it, do you miss it? Or, is it one of the, or do you get so busy in your day-to-day -day life that you don't actually have time to do what you love to do? Oh, well, actually, I dance every single day as far as teaching, so I'm doing it every day, and I love it. And it, it keeps me in better shape and my spirits. I mean, it was really tough, you know, not being able to dance for the last year and a half or so. I was, in, I was going to my dance studio all by myself and just, you know, right. cleaning, doing this, doing some new choreography. It gave me some time for some reflection and to think about what I was going to do if I could have my Halloween bash. <laughs> hey, Mary, speak to the guys out there, who guys like me, who are wallflowers, who never, who are afraid to go out there and not look good initially. Speak to them about the importance of, <laughs> hey, this is a great way to reach across the barrier and, and uh, you, you know, to make your other half happy. Yes. Is, this is a great gift, is it not, to get of involved in dancing? Of course, you know, I say, let it go. You know, get over that, that thought process, you know. You know, and, and people, you, you need to learn to dance, you know, and if you don't, go out and do your own thing. Just keep moving. But if you learn to dance, you'll have so much fun, and it's, of course, a lifetime sport. You can do it until the day that you die, and hopefully that's a long ways away. But uh, um, it's, it's, there's no downside to learning how to dance, and learning something new is so amazing for the brain. And we're looking at right now a uh, video mm -hmm. of, la was this 2019 probably, or was w w the, of your last spectacular? Or you can't see the video? I can't see the video. Okay, but, but we're looking at video. For, uh, <laughs> so this is a very affordable fun, is it not? Yes, it is. It's $35 in advance and $45 out. Oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. That's another thing from COVID. I haven't learned to, you know, rule. hold on just one second. Is that your phone? <laughs> Mr. President? <laughs> Put You're coming to my spooktacular this Saturday? Oh my God! You heard it here live! <laughs> You've got the president coming. Woo! See, now there's a man he knows how to get his boogie on. You right. know what I'm saying? We well, better make room for the social <laughs> or secret service detail as well. So, uh, but, but and anyhow, I mean, the, the, I always hear the saying, dance like nobody's watching. Can you kind of pick up on the, because that's the vibe you give off is you, you, don't worry about it. Just have don't, fun. Yeah, absolutely. Don't worry about it. Just have a good time. I think some people are just, you know, you get so caught up about what somebody else might think or something like that. And I think that's why when I first did an unbridled scream on television that it kind of went around the world. You know, sometimes you just have to let it go, you know, and try not to take ourselves so seriously. You know, and we all make mistakes and maybe things don't look the best, but you know what? You got to live. You got to let loose sometimes. And dancing is one of the best ways to do it. I think that is, is, that's advice that should be chiseled into a stone somewhere, Mary. <laughs> hey, all right, so quickly, how do people get involved? All they have to do is go to the website and call the number, and uh, you can uh, get tickets over the telephone, or you can sh just show up and come in person. And uh, is, uh, are people judged on just dancing ability, or does the costume also factor into the overall score? Well, during the day, there is a little mini competition, and during the day, there'll be a national um, dance champion that will be judging people that are coming there. They're already prepared. They take lessons, and there's a recital for kids that are 5 to 90 years old. And after that, then at night, we have the gala, where the five top solos get called back to the nighttime, along with a professional show. You know, Mary, back in the day, I used to teach tennis, and there would always be a kid that I thought, oh, on day one, thinking, this kid is never going to make it. And then four, six weeks later, best kid in the class. Did, do you find that as uh, dancing, too, that somebody comes off looking like they have two left feet, and next thing you know, they're Absolutely. the Absolutely. I have to say, we specialize in two left feet, but there was one person that I thought that I'm never going to be able to teach how to dance. You know, I said, step left, they step right. Step right, they step left. 
And, uh, but this person had determination. He was a national cross-country running champion, so he had the mentality to keep on going. And after a while, I mean, he, he, his wife who drug him in, he, he was bringing her in every single night and just exercising and doing two or three sessions a, a day and practicing on their own. And they eventually went on to dance as an amateur couple in national competitions all over across wow. the country. Wow. And I, I didn't see that one coming, but I can't underestimate somebody's heart and determination. Yes, the size of the... If you can walk, you can learn how to dance. Very good. And on that note, we'll call it a conversation. <laughs> Thank you so much for making the trip into KUSI. Thank you so much.